I guess I should say, or as a husband, because I'm not able to provide for my family. Going into that car really did something to me. I felt helpless. I felt like I couldn't help my children. I am willing to bet that the whole time you were in the car, you didn't cry once, did you? Mm -hmm. Not in front of these guys. When it came time to put the girls in school, the school must have asked you for an address. That, okay, well, you have these boxes to choose, and you had one that said shelter. You checked the shelter box? Yeah. There was no box for car. No. Oh. So you lied to them? Basically. You do what you have to do. There is not an option to take my girls away. I wonder if some of these families are hiding from the system, hiding from you. Yeah. Because as one woman put it to us today, she said, I was afraid that if they found out we were living in the car, the state would take my children away from me. Yeah. They're scared. They're very scared. And the reality is, if the state found them in a car, they could, their children could be taken away and put someplace safe for now. But when we find them, we can put them someplace safe. The Coats tried to go someplace safe. They called every shelter in the area, but they were all full. After 10 days in the car, the only thing in the bottom of the cooler was an orange. So Victoria started calling again. And we called each and every one of them. And then I got to the last one, which was Orlando Rescue Mission. And I called and the lady said, we have programs for your entire family. You must have thought you weren't hearing right. Yeah. How close did you come to running out of gas on the way to the rescue mission? We had like maybe a quarter tank before the E. So really all you had to your names at that point was a quarter of a tank and an orange. That's right. It wasn't long after the family made it into the shelter that D'Angelo found a job. He's manhandling garbage cans and proud to have the work. And how it works. How it works good for you. I'm thankful to have a job. With help from his employer, they hope to get Jamie, Jamia, and Jayla in a home of their own. What do you know now that you didn't know before you lived in the car? I know to be grateful that you have your family and that my mom is really, really, really protective. Protective because there is a ferocity that comes with being a parent on the street. Hiding the kids from cops and criminals, watching options grow shorter, the days longer, and the nights. The nights are just stubborn, sitting on a cooler, waiting for the sun. One threat to a family out here is idleness. So the folks that we met fill the days with every free and normal thing. After school, the Metzgers drive their truck to the library. Because they've got the computers that we can use and light and all that. I wonder what education means to you, too. I mean, everything. it is everything to us. I plan to be a child defense lawyer. If I focus on my studies, I have that opportunity. The American dream is durable, and there is something about growing up in a truck that makes you believe in it all the more. As we tagged along with the Metzgers, they told us they liked the truck better than a motel, and they wanted to show us something they've been doing in the evenings. They're acting in a community theater, a free and normal thing. On stage, they had a chance to be somebody else, but what struck us most was that they were just as happy in their roles as the Metzgers. Before the truck, I always saw all these homeless people, and I would feel so bad for them. And then as soon as we started living in the truck ourselves, I've seen even more. And I just feel so bad. And even though I'm homeless myself, I want to do as much as I can to help them get up, back up on their feet. You sound very adult to me. She, is, she likes to take over. And you too a little bit, Austin. You had to grow up pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I see, like, a a teenager or any other kid fighting with their parents or arguing with them and like not doing what they're told it really hurts me because 
They could be in my shoes, and of course I don't want them to be in my shoes, but they need to learn to appreciate what they have and who they have in their life, because it may be the last day they might have it. At the end 